Hi, welcome to a short video on the practical usage of Microsoft Power Query. In this video, I'd like to show you how you can merge data from multiple cells into a single cell. So, uh, for other MS Excel solutions, you may visit my website ashishmathur.com. So, here's what the data actually looks like. I have a I, on sheet one, I first have my base data, which is organized into two columns names over here with departments over here. Now, as you can observe, the names are being repeated in this particular column. What I'd like to do is to be able to generate the same two columns with all the unique names listed over here and the departments for those unique names to all be uh, to all appear in one cell separated by commas. So as you can see, A has two departments against it, QW over here and YU over here. So I'd like to see A here with QW, comma, YU all in a single cell. Now I have resolved this problem with the help of using Microsoft Power Query. So let's just see what I exactly did over here. I selected the data set over here. I went to Power Query and I said from table. <clears throat> I first and foremost right clicked over here and created a duplicate of this particular column. Then I pivot this data set. Now the difference between normal pivoting and pivoting with the help of Power Query is that in, in, in Pivoting via Power Query, you can actually show, show text entries within the value area section of a pivot table. So after having created a copy of this column, I go to transform, I say pivot column, use names in the column copy of department to create new columns. In the value area section, I'd like to see the department and under advanced options, aggregate function, I say don't aggregate there. When I click on OK, you'll actually see all the unique names over here with multiple columns, one for each particular department. Now, the next task is to actually combine all of this into a single column over here. So I select any one um, cell over here under add columns. Sorry, I select QW over here, shift key, select the last column over there. Under add columns, there's something called merge column. I merge column um, with let's say over here, a space separator, and the new column should be called merge, that's okay with me. Now, for now, I've got a merge column which is actually combined data from all the columns that I had selected. And since there's, there are only two values appearing over here, there'll be a whole lot of spaces appearing after you, by you as well, which I do not see. And that's true for the other rows also. So for my next task is to now get rid of those unrequired spaces. I can right click here, I can go to transform, something there called trim. I click on trim and um, the last step that, that that's now left is to replace the spaces that I, I have over here with commas. Right click, something here called replace values. I say space with a comma. I click on OK. I get my desired data structure. Now I do not need any of these columns. I select this, right click, remove columns. I'm left with my desired data result. I can give it a meaningful name now. Let's just say merged table. Under home, I can simply click on close and load. And I get another worksheet over there with my desired data structure. All without having to write any formula. And the icing on the cake over here is that this data is refreshable. Which means that if I actually go to my base data over here and add any further data entries or rather edit anything over here, all I need to do is right click and click on refresh. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you.